Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, Europe, or should we say US markets for trading session Tuesday, the 31st of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play or the Apple App Store. Okay, so the, uh, the recurring theme or the overriding theme right now is concerns over Mr. Trump. His um, his childish antics, his uh, his volatile rhetoric and actions and unpredictability, and given the fact that he's fired this potential judge that was going to defend, well, say, stated that the defence of this immigration ban was considered to be uh, indefensible. Basically, it was illegal, and uh, certainly seems to be doing a dictatorial. Basically, he's a Saddam Hussein or uh, a Gaddafi of the U.S or a Kim Jong of the US, basically anybody who opposes him, he gets rid of them. He's a dictator, right? Okay, and everybody knew that from, from the outset. Uh, and they want, they, they want change, but they've obviously got change, but it's a different type of change. Either way, our job as traders is to react, regardless of the, uh, the humor and the, uh, and the pathetic politics that are, are on display at present. Our job really is to react, and let's see if we can react and make money from it accordingly, okay? In terms of the markets, let's break it down step by step. So let's start off with the Russell. Okay, so Russell 2000 really is a harbinger or a leader of the uh, S&P and US markets in general. It certainly has certain, uh, put in a potential top here now, looking to potentially close a gap below, given the uncertainty and the fear from Mr. Trump's, obviously, presidency. The, uh, the fact that uh, the nightmare scenario certainly is being uh, materialized now, even though individuals, did, everybody expected him to tone down you know, on his rhetoric and actually... Uh, attempt to be professional uh, and not childish and immature and that certainly is uh, is the case uh, unfortunately he is being uh, childish and immature and he is being an absolute idiot as well so again this is uh, feeding through to uncertainty yesterday's sell-off was certainly increase increasing volume so certainly not a good sign and like i said the next step really on the daily chart of the uh, the uh, the actual uh, russell really is a, uh, a gap filled below the 60 minute chart certainly is but carving out a potential h and s formation so you want left shoulder here uh you've got the head that's obviously gone in and now you're looking for consolidation and then obviously looking to flush the market down to gap fill so russell certainly is targeting gap fill and given the uncertainty given the fact that nikkei is down 300 european markets now under pressure given the uh, stronger inflation data in the euro zone and also given the fact that german re retail sales certainly came in weaker now if we project that weakness onto the s p let's start with the daily chart let's see if we can break this down okay so starting off with the daily on the s p at the moment certainly has actually taken out the previous uh, resistance equals support so that certainly isn't a good sign okay and you can certainly see a potential to carve out a hns uh, around this region here so again a flush down to 2260 certainly is on the cards now okay certainly is on the cards given yesterday's uh, weakness okay 2260 and then potentially gap fill below at 22 Gap fill below at 22.40, so again, watch out for that. It certainly isn't a bullish sign, especially taking on that previous resistance equal support. The daily chart, now should we say the 60 minute charts, clearly showing you that you are, there is a um, a very high probability or possibility of the uh, the actual uh, S&P now closing that gap below, which is at 22.65. Okay, you currently have a uh, argument also as well for a H&S formation. Your head obviously has gone in looking for right shoulder and looking to flush. You have gap fill resistance around the 2295 zone, so watch out for that. Uh, and again, from using your Fibonacci sequence, you take the pivot high, take it to the pivot low, uh, and any bounce in that 22, uh, should we say 2280 zone, you're looking to potentially reverse. So certainly keep an eye out for that. Again, if the market continues to move higher, then you are looking at uh, the uh, gap fill resistance level holding. Uh, again, we haven't closed the gap at 22.65, so really the all eyes will be on that potential gap. And then if you continue to flush, then you have support at 22.56, 22.55, and that will certainly will come into play. Okay, you also have a gap below at 22.40. Again, that's a possibility as well. Okay, looking at the 10 minute chart, the S&P 500, let's see exactly where we stand. Okay, so S&P 500, let's just clean this up for you now. So he needs cleaning up here. Okay, so we're currently looking at previous support equals resistance. We have gap fill here as well.
Okay, so let's just bring this up. Okay, so you have gap fill above on the SP. Okay. Righty then, so uh, the flush up to 2280. If we get up to uh, 2285 again, that's 200 MA. Using your Fibonacci retracement from the gap level down to the pivot low, you're looking at a 50% resistance, 50, 75, 61, all will key, key zones. And then you have the unfilled gap at 2265. So certainly looking for further weakness on the SP. Okay, let's move on to the NASDAQ now. Looking at the NASDAQ daily chart, certainly have uh, indicated weakness on the daily. So therefore looking for further weakness uh, in terms of the NASDAQ as well, especially given the immigration ban probably will be hurting the, uh, the NASDAQ first and foremost. OK, so just bear that in mind, given the uh, talent pool, given the image of the tech sector and obviously its global brand, etc, etc, certainly is being tarnished. OK, so uh, NASDAQ itself, again, looking weak from my perspective, looking for a low high, uh, certainly no um, catalyst really to, to push the markets higher again. Very unlikely to close that gap at 5160 given the um, given the fact that the Nikkei was certainly lower. Again, an argument is there to, to potentially test 5080 and then even test 5040. So the Nasdaq certainly is in, is in for a potential um, a good a good uh, beating really from a technical perspective. Okay, looking at the uh, Dow Jones transportation average, certainly looking at a potential double top now especially given the fact that we've had this monstrous rally and Mr. Trump's uncertainty certainly is negating any possibility of further uh, additional fiscal stimulus. So again, double top on the Dow transports that certainly doesn't bode well going forward. OK, in terms of the Dow industrial average, again, certainly has flushed a uh, 10 minute chart, certainly has bounced off the lows, but given the weakness in uh, Asia overnight, certainly will feed through. Looking at a 60 minute chart now, again, certainly have broken below previous support equal, previous resistance equal support. Certainly not a good sign. And again, an argument can be made for it to flush down to 19,750 again. Okay, it's very unlikely that a gap will close above. So, again, indicating weakness from my perspective. Okay, so the NASDAQ, the SP, the Russell, the Dow, all certainly indicating a potential move lower. In terms of the dollar index at the moment, certainly seems to be basing now. Uh, whether or not we can close that gap below certainly is uh, a potential question. And given the fact that the stronger inflation data in the US, or should we say the, U, the EU, yesterday's economic data from the US certainly came in more or less in line. And it will be off onus really will be on the, uh, the actual uh, uh, European and uh, US data as well together. OK, so again, US data is out shortly in the next two hours. Again, keep an eye on that in terms of next potential movement, movement and direction. But US markets certainly looking top heavy. And uh, especially given the fact that the Nikkei was certainly uh, butchered overnight as well, you are looking for weakness. And the Nikkei top certainly has gone in at around the 19,600. OK, and now looking to potentially test the 19,000, 18,000 level again. You have multiple unfilled gaps to uh, close below. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and um, wish you uh, the very best for your trading day. Goodbye.